everybody. We are heading back to Singapore. The first time that I did it, I, I only had the main packet. This time, I also have an accessory packet. Thank you very much to the gentleman that sent this to me. I really appreciate it. Let's get into this stuff. It's just a simple clear plastic bag and I believe this has just two mains and uh, a dessert packet in here. And of course, if you want a sneak peek, it tells you what it is right there. And what do we have here? Macaroni and creamy paprika with chicken franks. That sounds yum. Here is the dessert. Green bean moon doll dessert. And when I did that other ration, somebody told me, gave me some advice to crumble up some of the crackers to help thicken up some of those sauces. And then we have the tomato lentils with chicken sausage. And then a small kind of inventory sheet lets you know which menu you've got and then which accessory packet that you have and I happen to have accessory packet B and on the other side it gives you some uh, cooking instructions preferences things like that and the nice thing about the mains is this is good before 2017 but we're going to get into this right now I always said this is accessory packet B, and you can see it says on here this is for one man for 24 hours. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, two packs of crackers. It says two of these are oat biscuits, and there should be two packs of like cocoa biscuits. Uh, these are actually uh, butter flavor. So we have two butter flavor and two oat flavor biscuits. These are like Mentos, but they are probably uh, little flavored candies. Packet of tissues. You know what those are for. This is a a sweat or hydration drink. It's a three in one drink. This has milk, malt, and low fat. It's like a chocolate or a milk type drink. Some coffee. Some gold roast tea. Two kind of like muesli bars, and on this sheet it tells you it can be different kinds. It can be apricot and honey, blueberry or apple, so those are what we've got there. And then the heating kit. Right on this it just says solid fuel with matches, expiration date of 2019. Lovely smell from the hexamine tablets. And then the matches are in a little zip. Uh, just a correction, it says this is kind of like an oval teen or kind of like a chocolate milk type drink. And just so I can say it, this uh, ration is designed for about 3,350 calories per day. It also shows the cooking methods. You can pour the food directly into a mess tin you can add a little water and put the put the package in a mess tin. You can just heat up the water or again, my favorite, you can stick it on a car engine or in the sun and let it heat up that way. Well, let's heat up these mains. Okay, one other tidbit of information. The Singaporean Armed Forces, they use the standard British mess kit and a tip that they gave me with the mains is to kind of crush it up, which makes sense for 
all rations, and I might have mentioned it before, and stick it in there, then fill it up with water. Okay, I got my cooker. It's just kind of like a British type cooker, probably commercial. One of the briquettes, and of course, some of the matches. Uh, one of the tricks I learned is scrape it up. Sometimes these have a little coating on them. Helps get these things. Ah, it's gonna be one of these days. All right, that one didn't work. Another tip I learned is place a match underneath of it so the match head is below it. Then when you touch it, <laughs> tries to light that match. There you go. Now we're cooking. And just in case, if you're wondering, that what's underneath of this is one of those foldable Esbit stoves that came from, uh, I believe it was in <laughs> RCIR. Say hello to alligator. Okay, nice flame now. We'll grab our ration, wait for it to boil. It still hasn't come to a boil, but it is pretty darn hot. These uh, hexamine tablets, I guess they're large enough, they really do the work really well. Okay, this ration comes with four drinks. However, they're all really small drinks. Uh, so I would assume during the day when you need to be hydrated, you would just continue on drinking regular water. We have the super coffee, which is 150 mil. We have this isotonic drink, which you said is a mild like vitamin C and sugar drink. This is 200 mil. Then we have the Ovaltine or the chocolate drink, which is 200 mil. And then we have the honey chrysanthemum tea, which is 150 mil. Let's get those mixed up. I like the fact this says it's super coffee and it's three in one, which means like the milk and the sugar are already inside of here. And the tea, it says to serve hot, even though it'd probably be pretty decent cold as well. Mm. It will give those a stir. This has a very nice chocolatey smell, which you would expect from like an Ovaltine malt type drink. It's pretty fine powder. We'll give this one a stir. Now before we start plating, there's one more thing I should mention. Also with these rations comes a instant noodle packet. And it says right there it's packaged separately. That's the only thing that I do not have. So again, you would have like a little packet of like ramen noodles or something like that. Okay, I got my tissues on standby, a spoon. I'm assuming that you would carry uh, your utensils with you in a mess kit. I'm just going to put everything on one tray today. We'll start off. This is a blueberry apple muesli bar. Pretty consistent from what I've seen from around the world. Let's get that there. Oh, there's my phone. Yeah, sorry about that. And this one doesn't say what it is. It just has a date. I'm assuming they might be the same exact thing. And... You tell me. Now we do have two different kinds of biscuits. You have oat biscuits and butter biscuits. And if you look really close, you can see the slight color differences of each one of these. Here's a closer up look. The butter biscuits have that distinct butter kind of coconut smell. And these oat ones have that nice hearty 
smell as well. Now it says you have two sweet tubes, these Mentos. I was looking on the back. These are actually Mentos made in Vietnam. If anybody's in Vietnam, I still haven't done one of your rations yet, if you have them. And it says assorted flavors. So it seems that would be lime. That might be the, well, I don't know. They do have slight different colors. This time I know that they're candies and not gum like the type that, this is why I got confused last time. I used Mentos gum. Uh, it looks pretty much the same as these. So, yeah, is what it is. So I'll plop these down here with that. And that pretty much covers it as far as the food. Now you do get two packs of these. And I will try to uh, do a little uh, pro tip or a hack with the dessert to uh, thicken it up a little bit. All right, now for a first main, this is the tomato lentil rice. And it has a chicken sausage in it. I don't know how much chicken sausage it will be. Wow, it smells really good. It looks about is how you would expect. It's pretty hot. Oh man, it's pretty hot. Mm. Oh man. There's still just a little left in there. See the rice, see the tomato, kind of the lentils. You know, when you overcook lentils, they kind of mush up, kind of look like beans a little bit. Here's a little kind of view of the chicken sausage. Not huge pieces, but I'm sure it will fit the bill. And the other is macaroni and creamy paprika sauce. And it says with chicken franks. So I guess that'd be kind of like German Wurstel or Spam, which now I know it says don't put them with, <laughs> don't put it with pasta, but guess what they did? They put it with elbow macaroni. And you got some beans in there. Looks like red beans or kidney beans. Boy, these things are H-O-T. These are probably... I'm guessing 300 gram packets. And kind of like how we expected. Straight up like hot dog bits. It went along with those kidney beans and elbow macaroni. Got our drinks on standby, our coffee, our Ovaltine, and our sports drink. And we are going to save our dessert for last. Let's give this a try, so you know I've got it right in here. It does say there is a little bit of paprika spice in here. It's all very soft. It's all very mushy. Like I said, this uh, these chicken franks have the consistency of like a, uh, like a Vienna sausage. They're very very soft. It is kind of mushy. You can kind of get a little smokiness of the paprika, but other than that, it is kind of bland. So some seasoning to uh, zip that up a bit would probably uh, help out quite a bit. But overall, when it's nice and hot, and you're cold or you've been working hard, this will definitely fit the bill. Now the tomato lentil rice, and we have the chicken sausage. Let's try to get a little bit of everything on here. To use Steve's word, that, that looks pretty nice. Give that a try. The chicken sausage is actually a lot more chewy. I was expecting it to be kind of like that Frankfurter, but it, it does have a, a nice little bite. The, the problem is there's almost not enough tomato sauce in this, and this is also pretty bland. So. If they had some uh, some salt or something like that, or in that part of the country, a lot of hot stuff, they had ground red pepper. This would really help. 
add some good flavor and dimension to this. It is kind of mushy. It's it's prepared in bulk and it is overcooked to make sure that there are no bacteria or whatever in there. But overall, not too bad. Now one of my muesli bars was a blueberry and apple. They're nice and soft. They smell really nice. We'll give this one a try. Mmm, that's pleasant. The fruit filling is not overly sweet, but you can taste, you can definitely taste the blueberry and this one. It does come across. And for those of you in the States or that have ever had a Fig Newton, it's like a multi grain hearty Fig Newton. Try some of the three in one coffee with that. Mm. And if you like leaded coffee, with creamer and sugar that would probably put you into overdose and this is that honey and chrysanthemum tea mmm that is very pleasant but again if you're not <laughs> if you do not have a, a sweet tooth I think this stuff would or if you were a diabetic you'd probably be in trouble you'd have to take some insulin first now we have the oat biscuit in the butter biscuit. Let's try this one first. It has just such a nice smell. I remember when Aldo and Hearth sent me some of these. Man, they were really good. Mm-hmm. These are almost like dessert biscuits. Very, very nice. And the oat biscuit, I remember having these in a Norwegian ration. They were very nice, very hearty probably be good to dunk in your coffee or your Ovaltine seeing how this is served hot however I will try it on its own first it's rather bland compared to the butter biscuit but just so we can say experiments sake, I'll dip it I'll dig it dip it in this Ovaltine try it like that oh yeah it softens it up, gives it a little malty kind of flavor, so that really works out well. And then our sweets tube. And I say sweets tube because that's what it says right on here. Sweets, two tubes. Okay, it's just a little Mentos. This one kind of has a little slight off color to it. I can't really identify what it is until we try it. Definitely a little hint of citrus in there, so I think it's either the it's either the lemon or the orange. Maybe the orange bit. Take a slug of this oval tea. Just like a good mug of hot chocolate. And what else do we have? We just have the dessert in our like isotonic sports drink. This has like glucose, vitamin C, uh, citric acid. So it's gonna be, uh, you know, like a orange type flavor kind of drink. Mm, and that's exactly, it's definitely geared for rehydration. It has a little bit of sweetness to it, a little bit of acidity, but it's not overly pleasant to drink. I'm quite sure that the guys on the SAF will back me up on that. But it probably will give you uh, the hydration that you need to uh, keep on the move. Now, if you see my previous Singaporean ration or the Malaysian ration, you're going to, to already know that these desserts are more of like a soup. And... I got a comment, one of the guys were saying, well, you, you crush up some of these crackers and it thickens it up and you can actually use a whole pack of crackers to absorb it and you can actually kind of make a cake. We're not going to go that far, but we are going to add some crackers into this to thicken it up. And just so that you can see, this is green bean moon doll dessert. 
You can see the expiration date on there, best before 2017. And again, you guys are going to see how soupy this stuff really is. I don't even need to open this container the whole way. Now, for Western eyes, that is not what we really consider a dessert, but it still is pretty tasty. So you can get, see a spoonful of this. You can see the the little bits and pieces in there. It will try it just right on its own. It's got like a sweet uh, juice or a sauce, probably like, I don't know. It didn't have uh, ingredients, but I'm not quite sure. Coconut milk. And these bits are very soft. Once they hit their palate, they pretty much dissolve. And I'm going to grab uh, an oat biscuit and a butter biscuit, crumble them up and toss them in here. The goal is to get those crackers as mushed up as possible, as fine as you can get, because it just helps absorb the liquid even faster. Give that a little stir. It gives it a lot of texture, a lot more, I guess, pleasure for the troops in the field. We'll give that a try. It was kind of nice because now you have that crunch and that sweetness of the butter biscuit and just a little different kind of oaty flavor in there too. Pretty tasty. But the more you add, the thicker it'll be and probably the more pleasant, at least for the Western palate. Okay, everybody, this was a review of a Singaporean Armed Forces 24 hour ration with the accessory packet. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.